Julianne, also known by her married name Julianne Diller, is a German-Peruvian mammologist. As a teenager in 1971, Julianne was the sole survivor of the Lanza Flight 508 plane crash, then survived 10 days alone in the Amazon rainforest. She survived a fall of 3,000 meters, still strapped to her seat. Julianne was about to graduate from high school. Maria had wanted to return to Penguana with Julianne on 19 or 20 December 1971, but Julianne wished to attend her graduation ceremony on 23 December. Maria agreed for Julianne to stay for longer and, instead, they scheduled a flight on Christmas Eve. All flights were booked, aside from one with Linea's Aereas Nationalis S.A. Her father Hans Wilhelm urged Maria to avoid flying with the airline which had a poor reputation. They booked the flight nonetheless. The Lanza Lockheed commercial airliner was struck by lightning during a severe thunderstorm and broke up in midair, disintegrating 3.2 kilometers 2 .0 miles above the ground. Julianne, still strapped onto her seat, survived the fall to earth, suffering a broken collarbone, a gash to her left leg and to her right arm, and her right eye was swollen shut. Julianne's first priority was to find her mother, who had been seated next to her, but her search proved unsuccessful. She would later learn that her mother initially had survived the crash also, only to die of her injuries a few days later. Surviving on sweets she found at the site, Kopka waded downstream through knee-high water, as her father had taught her that tracking downstream should eventually lead to civilization. After 10 days, she found a boat moored near a small shelter. She poured gasoline from the fuel tank on her wounds to clear them of maggots and spent the night in the shelter. The next morning, a small group of local fishermen discovered her and brought her to their village. The following day, a local pilot volunteered to fly her to a hospital in Pucallpa, where she was reunited with her father. After recovering from her injuries Kafka assisted search parties in locating the crash site and recovering the bodies of victims. Her mother's body was discovered on 12 January 1972.